the immortal healer, it is said that in the 22nd year of the king she reigned 1683, in the third month, I and Gao Jiwen went to Jinan. We stayed together at Jinan. Suddenly, Gao Jiwen fell ill. Coincidentally, Gao Jinmei had accompanied Mr. Gao Niandong to Jinan. They decided to seek medicine and treatment for Gao Jiwen's illness. According to Mr. Yuan Lin's account, there was a family surname Liang outside the south gate of the city, who had a celestial healer skilled in medical arts, much like the renowned physician Chang Sang from the Warring States period. So, they went together to seek medical help from the Liang family. Madame Liang was a woman in her 40s, with an air resembling that of a fox. Upon entering her house, they saw a red curtain hanging in the inner room. Peeking through the curtain, they noticed a portrait of Guanyin hanging on the wall. There were also a couple of scroll paintings depicting a mounted warrior holding a spear, followed by many riders. Below the north wall was a low table with small seats at each end, no taller than a foot, each covered with a small brocade cushion. They were told that when celestial beings visit, they sit there. They lit incense and stood in a row, bowing with reverence. Madame Liang struck a bell three times and softly chanted something. After finishing her prayers, she respectfully invited the visiting guests to sit outside. Madame Liang stood below the curtain, adjusted her hair, and propped her cheek with her hand as she conversed with the guests. She narrated various miraculous deeds of the immortal. As time passed, evening approached. Worried they might not be able to return in the dark, they requested another prayer. Madame Liang struck the bell again and resumed her prayers. Afterward, she turned around, stood up, and said, Immortals prefer to converse at night, as it is often difficult to meet them at other times. Yesterday night, there were some aspiring scholars waiting for the examination. They brought dishes and wine to share a meal with the immortal. The immortal also offered fine wine to thank the guests. They exchanged poetry and jokes during the meal, and by the time they dispersed, it was almost dawn. Before Madame Liang could finish her sentence, they suddenly heard faint sounds coming from the room. It sounded like bats flying and chirping. While everyone was concentrating to listen carefully, suddenly, it seemed like a large stone fell onto the table, creating a loud noise. Madame Liang turned around and said, I was almost scared to death. Then they heard a sigh, as if from a strong old man. Using a banana leaf fan, Madame Liang separated a small seat next to the north wall, and they heard a loud voice from the seat saying, Destiny, Destiny, followed by a gesture of inviting them to sit, seemingly as if bowing in respect. Then he asked the guests, What do you seek advice on? Following Mr. Gao Mei's intention, Gao Jiwen asked, Have you seen Bodhisattva? The immortal replied, I've been to Mount Puchuo in the South Sea many times, how could I not have seen her? Gao Jinmei asked again, Has Yama, the king of hell, been replaced? The immortal replied, He's no different from people in the mortal world. Gao Jinmei further asked, What's Yama's surname? The answer was, His surname is Kao. After these questions, they asked the immortal to cure Gao Jiwen's illness. The immortal said, Go back and offer tea and water in a nighttime ritual. I will go to the Bodhisattva Guanyin to request medicine and bring it back to offer. It can cure any illness. Each person asked questions about their own concerns, and the immortal provided detailed analyses and judgments. They then bid farewell and returned to the inn. After a night, Gao Jiwen's condition improved slightly. I and Gao Jinmei packed up and returned home ahead of time, so we didn't have the opportunity to visit again. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.